Hello, this is Keith Zendler. I'm the founder of People Movers, and we are going to talk about how to get your profile set up. So you've created an account, and uh, you know you're looking at your home. This is your home page right here, where you can uh, have a nice feed of everybody you're following. Uh, but we're going to talk about uh, getting your profile going. So uh, hopefully you you've already uploaded a photo. Um, but if not, we're still going to go up here. You see in the top right, we're going to click on that. And you see where it says profile. Let's just go ahead and click on that. Okay, so this is what people will see uh, when they go to your name. And uh, what we want to do is, again, make sure that you've got a image there. If you want to change that, uh, you can just click on that and then go ahead and choose. Uh, a file, but I'm, I'm pretty happy with that one right now, so I'm just going to close that. You notice that I can do a cover image, and I recommend, you know, make this look as nice as possible. Uh, this is what people see, uh, so it really helps with branding. Now, uh, let's see, I've got a photo here that I'd like to use. Oh, and I'd also recommend use one that's got a, uh, that's at least a thousand pixels wide. You say, well, how do I know that? Well, you see where it says dimensions right there, 3,456 pixels by 2,005. That's a high-resolution photo, so we're not going to have any problems with that. Uh, sometimes if you get under 1,000 pixels wide uh, and it tries to expand it for a desktop screen, uh, it's not going to look very good. All right, so it uploads it, and it already fits it into kind of this area here. So I can just drag it into position. I mean, this may not be the best. Let's see, Let's save that. Now again, everybody's screen sizes and proportions are different. So, uh, you know, it may or may not look good, uh, but that looks okay. And now the picture itself is probably not the sharpest. Uh, I could probably do better, but we'll leave it at that. Do you see that eye there? That's kind of your information area. Now it's pulling in my interest that I already had. But let's go ahead and edit this. And let's add more information on who I am. Uh, so this is all good. I can change this if I made a mistake. Uh, my address. Now this is not going to show if I am um, an individual or a family. But if you're an organization, you're going to need to have this information because this is how we verify that you're a real organization. So uh, make sure you do that. And it's also how people are going to connect with you. Uh, so uh, you want to have this contact information there. And this is Michigan. Uh, I can put my contact phone number in there. So let's just put the main people movers number in there. Uh, this is again the type that I am. I'm a male. I don't know why that didn't copy over. That is a bug. By the way, if you find bugs, let us know. Uh, they're out there, but we like to, to squash them. And then definitely put a little bit about me. So I am an entrepreneur. Loves to create companies that help people. If you are an organization, go ahead and copy information from your website. But just a you know a paragraph or two, uh, or maybe just a sentence that tells people who you are and what you're all about. And then um, if I had a website, I think I have Sendler.com. Of course, um, I could use that. You know what, by the way, I had used John Test before. Um, if I wanted to change that, I could do that right there. But this is kind of where you do all of that stuff. So I go ahead and update that. You'll notice that I can also go over here and I can update the uh, images. I can update my community interests. Uh, so I could add uh, things there if I want. I go to settings, uh, you can allow comments on your posts, uh, or you could say, you know what, I really don't want to have anybody commenting on what I do. I just want to share the information. Organizations, uh, that could be very helpful for you. You can control what kind of email notifications you get. 
Uh, so uh, I want to get everything, and that's kind of the default. But if you wanted to control that, you can click or unclick things, as you see right there. Um, I can also set administrators. So if I wanted to have my spouse or I wanted to have a coworker, uh, yeah, an administrator, I could do that. So Linda Fleek is one of our uh, partners here. I'm going to have her be an administrator, and that means that she could actually post for me. Uh, we don't want you to go here, but if you were totally sick of people movers, or let's say you just want to start all over again and, and do another one, you could uh, delete your profile very easily. Okay, so let's go to View Profile. And that's how you have your, uh, that's how you get your basic pro profile set up. So we'll talk about how to create boards next. But uh, you see it gives the website, which we want. It gives me a little uh, description here. Um, but that's, that's how you get a nice looking profile on people movers.